Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. With exams in full swing, I thought to myself, what better time to make a YouTube video for law students? And it turns out, any time is better. But I'm gonna make one anyway. So I figure you're watching this video for one of three reasons. One, you're considering studying law. Two, you do study law and you're just procrastinating doing your work by watching something semi-law related to make yourself feel better. Or three, you don't study law, you have no intention of studying law ever, and you're just watching this video to try to figure out who in their right mind would choose to study law. So without further ado, here's what to expect from law. I just want to preface this by saying that Australian law differs from many other countries. I'm currently studying law at university, which is tertiary education and comes directly after high school. So when we finish high school, we have the option of continued education to obtain a degree. So I chose to study law and upon completion of my studies, I will obtain a law degree. A standard law degree takes four years to complete in Australia and I'm doing a double degree, so it's just gonna take me a little bit longer. I know us Aussies have it pretty sweet but don't worry, the workload is still really intense. For me personally, I found it so hard to go from high school studies to law. The workload was tenfold by comparison. So I'm gonna share with you a few things that I wish I had known as a first year law student. Okay, so I had a preconceived idea of what it was gonna be like at uni and what it was gonna be like to study with other students who are just focused on the same subjects as you. Turns out all these preconceived ideas really set me up for one heck of a surprise. Here was I thinking that I was gonna make a whole bunch of friends and we're gonna sit around drinking chai latte, studying, just sharing work and ideas and it would just be amazing, cute little study groups, you know? Like Tumblr. It was gonna be so Tumblr. I mean like the whole shebang. And don't get me wrong, some of my best friends are law students and we met at uni. But when it comes to study, finding people who are willing to share and work together is a rarity. I don't know why it's so competitive, it just is. I have had some great study groups in law, but it's amazing to see the contrast between my criminology subjects and my law subjects. I've found that law students just don't seem to want to interact with each other as much. Maybe it's because the subjects are so difficult, so when someone finds the answer, they just hoard it. There is no sharing here. I worked hard for this answer. We're not sharing this around. That seems to be, that's it. Guys, that's it. It's just difficult. Speaking of difficulty, Going into law or even just mentioning to someone that you're going to study law, they will tell you that there is so much reading and they'll start to freak you out because you're thinking, how is it possible for me to get all of this done? It's not that bad. I mean, maybe I'm doing this whole law degree wrong, but I haven't found that it's unmanageable. Yes, there is a lot, but it's not obscene. I think it's best to just chill. I swear I must be fluking this whole degree so far with how much reading I've actually done. You'll be fine. On to the next thing. Here's something that's synonymous with the word law student, and that is stress. You could ask any law student, hey, how are you? How are you doing today? And they will respond with, I'm just really stressed, it's so much reading. Don't ever ask a law student how they are around exam time. You're just asking for trouble. At first, I have to admit, I was getting stressed out simply because everyone else around me was stressing out. But as I progressed throughout my law degree, I realized that sometimes it was just students overreacting. I mean, the lecturer would open their mouth and the entire lecture theater would suddenly be stressed. But seriously, comment below and tell me if this has ever happened to you. You weren't stressed about a subject and you're speaking to someone who is really stressed about this subject. And now you're stressed because you're thinking, why am I not stressed about this? What should I be stressed? And now you're starting to overstress. So you're just overcompensating for the lack of stress that you already had. And now you're stressed. It's such a law student thing of me to be stressed right now. My tip is don't let the workload or those around you stress you out. You've got to handle your work better if you're cool, calm and collected anyway. So just chill. On to the next one. What you learn will be far more interesting to you than to those around you. So quoting legislation at a party probably won't sit well. I know, it's shocking that no one wants to hear you recite the criminal code, but it's just a fact you're gonna have to deal with. That is, unless you're surrounded by other law students. Then it's your time to shine, enjoy your verbal joust. At my university, we have an annual law ball, which is just a nice night out for law students to get dressed up, mingle, and just enjoy themselves. This evening has to be one of my favorite nights on the calendar, but I'm starting to think it's just an event for law students to tucker themselves out with their newfound knowledge over a glass of champagne. You better believe the criminal code was quoted that night. 
on several occasions. And finally, exams, or as I like to call them, the race against the clock. In my experience, law exams are just as much about what you know and your ability to apply the law to the facts as they are about your ability to write it really, really quickly down on paper. Get yourself several of those well-inked pens, you know those beautifully flowing gel pens? You're gonna need it. Expect hand cramps. You could even get yourself one of those stress balls just to warm up your hand before exams and relieve stress at the same time. But seriously, there is a lot of work to get done within a very limited period of time. Let's just say I'm in my third year of law and I'm yet to fully complete a law exam. I mean, I always run out of time. Also, my beautifully bubbly handwriting that I was so fond of in high school has been transformed into meaningless scroll. So, Shout out to the law faculty and those unobtainable time limits. I hope you found some of this information useful. If you're considering studying law, I want you to know that it's a really rewarding degree. There are so many opportunities and it opens so many doors. And I have to say, it feels amazing when there's real world application for your knowledge. So break up your workload. It is manageable. Don't get too stressed out and holler at me if you need any tips and support. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you guys next week. <sighs> I almost forgot to say, like and subscribe. Now that would have been stressful.